It is not really white gold metal but rather, an energy source the entire world could use a gas that is clean, environmentally green, and self-replenishing. The Philippine Trench as well as the Philippine Rise is breeding grounds of the endangered Pacific Blue Fin Tuna, but speculators also say that lying at the bottom of the Philippines Trench is the world's largest deposit of a gas called deuterium. Deuterium gas, also known as heavy hydrogen, is a heavier and stable isotope of ordinary hydrogen. It is widely known worldwide as the fuel of the future. We strongly believe that hydrogen, 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 hydrogen will be the fuel of the future. It is a colorless, odorless, non-toxic, diatomic, flammable gas. Longer drive range compared to fossil fuel. Decarbonizing industrial sectors. Easy storage and usage. Proven use case in space travel. Deuterium gas is used in nuclear power, fusion power, deuterated optical fibers, deuterated lubricants, lasers, light bulbs, R&D laboratories, and annealing semiconductors rims. With drinkable water as an exhaust. Ah. It is one of the best, if not the best, energy source on the planet. The Philippines was identified by some in the scientific community to hold the greatest amount of deuterium deposits in the world somewhere in the area called the Philippine Trench or Mindanao Deep, the part of the Pacific Ocean running mostly the entire length of the country. Deuterium is most prevalent on an area more widely known as the Philippine Deep, which is located along the eastern side of the Philippine Deep, of which the deepest deuterium deposits, when viewed from a satellite, lies closest to the shores of Surigao. The Philippine Deep was once the deepest part of the Earth until the Marianas Trench was found to be deeper. Dr. Anthony B. Halog, a Filipino scientist with a chemical and industrial engineering background, described the Philippine deuterium wealth in this manner. A big deposit of 868 miles long, 52 miles at widest point, and 3 miles at its deepest point, replenished by nature 24 hours a day after deuterium travels more than 12,000 kilometers from Central America to the Philippines through the span of the Pacific Ocean when planet Earth turns on its axis from west to east in unending perpetual motion. Dr. Halog said, its economic potential is about 12 million barrels per day with a capacity priced at seven United States dollars per barrel, that could reach 84 million United States dollars per day or 30.66 billion United States dollars per year, enough to wipe out all existing foreign debts of the Philippine government in one year. Dr. Halog said, once deuterium exploration and extraction succeed, public works, private construction, economic and financial booms could be expected to happen in the Philippines in the same manner as those that happened in the Middle East and financial centers of the world. The world is becoming more and more environmentally conscious, as such, exploring all alternatives that could provide energy with little or no detriment to the environment, should be considered, including the recovery, processing, and marketing of deuterium. In reality the Philippines could actually become the cornerstone of a global shift towards a clean, green, pollution-reducing future, in addition to becoming one of the richest countries in the world. However, there are other scientists and researchers who hold a different opinion. 22 years ago, 
a certain doctor known as Kalo from Butuan city in Mindanao, hypothesized that a very large deposit of deuterium can be found in the Philippine Deep, located off the waters of Surigao. First discovered and isolated in 1932 by an American chemist Harold Urey, deuterium or heavy water is composed of two isotopes of hydrogen and an oxygen atom, with a chemical formula of D20 or H30. With more hydrogen molecules than ordinary water, it is much heavier than water or even salt water, causing it to naturally sink farther down into deep ocean trenches. Although deuterium mining has never been done before even in highly developed first world countries and the possible costs might be staggering, research on this opportunity is still worth investing in, considering the high stake involved. This program could propel the Philippines to be biggest hydrogen fuel producer in the world, and become the only fuel 20 to 30 years from now in an oil-depleted world economy. Deuterium mining is practically just pumping water from the ocean bottom. The present technology in offshore oil production is up to depths of 6.4 kilometers from sea level, and they still have to drill through the ocean bottom to get to the oil, hundreds of meters below the sea floor. Deuterium is located just between 7 to 10 kilometers from the sea surface and needs no further drilling. And since deuterium naturally electrolyzes when the 10,000 psi ocean pressure is gradually removed through the pumping process and replaced by lower atmospheric pressure, two upper pipes will then collect it segregated by products of deuterium which are pure liquid water and gaseous hydrogen. The dispelled hydrogen gas can then be collected, compressed and stored as liquid hydrogen. The pipeline itself will serve as refinery of deuterium to produce hydrogen. Oil mining may actually be more laborious, costly and dangerous in comparison to deuterium mining, and oil refining more expensive than the processes involved in deuterium and Lehigh production.